I have been using this digital multimeter for quite a long time and I'm not going to say anything bad about this multimeter but the Kaiweats KM601 Smart Digital Multimeter is just at another level as it has got maximum of the functions which I usually need while performing the tests. I will talk about each and every function in very detail but first let's start the unboxing and see what we have got inside this box. Without any further delay, let's get started. Inside this box we have the Kaiweats KM601 Smart Digital Multimeter True RMS 10,000 Counts, a user manual which explains pretty much everything. You just read this for 5 minutes and then you feel like you know everything about this smart digital multimeter. Two sets of AAA 1.5 volts batteries, two test leads and the K-type thermocouple for measuring the temperature. We have these five buttons on the top, the power button and NCV on the front. NCV stands for non-contact voltage detection. This is my favorite one. There is one button on the right side which is the APO button. APO stands for automatic power off. There is one button on the left side which has this torch sign on it which is used to turn on and turn off an LED which is on the big side. Finally on the bottom side we have these four jigs for connecting the test leads which are also provided with these indication lights. This input terminal is for measuring AC and DC current up to 10 amperes. This input terminal is for measuring AC and DC current up to 600 milliamperes. This is common or return terminal for all measurements. This last input terminal is for measuring all other functions like voltage, continuity, resistance, capacitance, frequency, temperature and testing diodes. So that's all about the things on the outside. Now it's time to power up this beautiful piece of hardware and practically see all its features and functions in action. So let's install the batteries. Press and hold the power button for about 2 seconds to turn on or turn off the meter. By default the auto mode is selected and which you can also see on the screen. The pointer will swing by itself indicating the smart mode. You will also see the ambient temperature. The automatic power off is on by default. So when this function is on and there is no activity for about 15 minutes the meter will automatically turn off. One minute before turn off there will be five beeps. So you can turn on and turn off this automatic power off function using the APO button. You can turn on and turn off the LED using this touch button. They did a great job by adding this LED as we always need light for checking the components parts numbers and in so many other situations uh, when we are testing something. Next we are going to check the NCV non-contact voltage detection function. You can use this for testing the live and neutral wires.
pretty amazing. Works from such a long distance. This NCV function will save a lot of your time when you have to find a broken spot on a long wire. Now let's go ahead and check all the other functions and for this first I'm going to connect my test leads. While the auto mode is selected let's first test the continuity. You can check this by simply touching the two test leads and you should hear a beep sound. Next I'm going to check these 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistors. Let's see if this smart digital multimeter can automatically select the ohms. While the smart mode is still selected, I'm going to check the AC and DC voltages and let's see if it can differentiate between the AC and DC voltages. So first, let's start with the AC voltage. On the display, you can see it automatically selected the voltage and since we are measuring the AC voltage, you can clearly see the AC sign is selected. You can also see the frequency in Hertz. And the voltage itself which is around 223 volts. This time we are measuring the DC voltage you can see on the meter voltage is selected and since we are measuring the DC voltage so you can see the DC voltage sign and the voltage itself which is around 11 volts this is a 3S lipo battery pack. Next I'm going to check these two capacitors the one is 470 microfarad and the other one is 10 microfarad. For this, I'm going to manually select the capacitor. Next, I'm going to check this diode. For this, I'm going to manually select the diode. So far I have covered maximum of the functions and now it's time to check the K-type thermocouple. For the temperature test I'm going to manually select the temperature. Next I'm going to remove the test leads and I will connect the K-type thermocouple. You can see the temperature sensor is quite responsive. For the current measurement, manually select the desired range which are 10 ampere and 600 milliamps. If you are measuring the current and you know it's equal to or below 600 milliamps then connect the test lead in the 600 milliampere jack and the Blake test lead in the common jack. Finally, you can connect the test leads in the series and this way you can measure the current. If you want to measure the current which is equal to or less than 10 amps then connect the test lead with a 10 amps jack and this will automatically select the 10 amps. This is quite smart. It knows when you connect the test leads. Anyways, now you can connect the test leads in series and start measuring the current. 
So that's all for now. Let me know in a comment if you have liked this Skyweed Smart Digital Multimeter. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.